has been installed. Uh, we put it on a pause because there's some of the space that's right here. All of this is going to end up being where the, the stove goes and then the steps to get up. This is going to disappear. Um, we're going to do seating, the settee. So for today, this whole mess has to be cleaned out because we have the wood panels that are down here underneath had some rot from some old items that had collected moisture from a leak around the window. And so that means that it sat there and saturated all the wood underneath. So we're going to move all of this out. We're actually going to come back here because this space, we're going to climb back up in there. As you can see, there's some old foam. We're going to clean it up, put a new coat of paint back here, and then we're going to put the shelves back in so that we have more closet space. All this is going to get cleaned up today. And as soon as we can get that cleaned up, then we'll go ahead and move everything so that we can get to one side at a time. And hopefully we'll make a nice big dent in it. I got the day off today and tomorrow, so I'll give Eric a hand today. Okay, so this is the mess I've been chiseling out. And to be totally honest, so this is where the chunk ends. This is all the pieces that I've actually busted off of it. And this stuff's really, really bad because it absorbs water almost like a sponge. It gets stupid heavy. It's actually really just horrible to have on a boat. But this hole actually goes all the way down to the bottom of the yama. But this whole section in here is completely isolated off. There's no hatches to access this point. So we have to get all this foam out and then um, either seal up this part so it'll have an air pocket or just put a platform in so that we can utilize this space and just leave the bottom part open. So I'm going to do a crude demonstration here of what that styrofoam or foam actually looked like. So this is the closet space here. And then there's the, the rise, this the ledge to climb over. That whole space actually drops underneath where that foam was. But what had happened is they probably went, oh, we're not going to use that space for anything. Go ahead and fill it in. Well, they started to fill it in, which was fine. But then as they were filling it, it attached to the front. And it ended up going like this. So they never filled in this space down here. And then over time, all of this foam actually shrank. So there was this big open gap right here when I climbed in there to start chiseling this piece out. So everything that I was chiseling off, I was actually just dropping it down into the hole until we can get to it and pull the rest of it out. But it's this really strange spacing in there that that's all this chunk was it wasn't supporting anything it wasn't actually sealed on anything it's barely stuck to either wall on both sides and on the the far side so this whole thing i was able to just start chiseling it off so i'm about right here as far as its progress and then all the rest of it's just getting dropped down here so when we get to it again then we'll climb back up here and we'll put the shelf in so that we can lay on our bellies. Here, we'll just do that. So we can lay on our bellies and then reach down in here and start pulling all this stuff out to put into a bag. So the space right here is where the internal AC unit, which was seawater fed uh, to keep the temperature in the boat down, the same as the seawater. And pull, pulled out the unit. I got the biggest mud wasp nest hiding up in here. It's just, it just was one massive nest. Tell them your location. 
and this is on the starboard side in the latter quadrant storage area. Now I'm going to pull all this out and get it all cleaned up and painted. And this will get turned back into normal storage instead of an AC unit. There's better AC setups that we can put in the boat now compared to 20 years ago. So this is to give you a little better idea where he's sitting. <laughs> he's pulling the nest out. Um, so, main salon. And then he's all the way up on this side working. Because that little section right there used to be closet space for this that used to be another bed space. So he's getting the old retired wore out AC unit pulled and we'll look at upgrading into something a little bit more modern and easier to install and maintenance. So what I thought was a mud wasp nest was not, it was actually either ant or termite had gotten in here. They're long since gone. Everything's dead, but uh, I don't see any carcasses yet to figure out whether it was ant or whether it was termite, but I had the uh, hiding in this AC unit area and the old fur one by that's here has been, all the softwood's been eaten out and channeled out uh, for whatever was running in and out of the wood right there. But there wasn't much to survive on. This is the only section that's got a little bit of wood and then everything else is fiberglass. So it was short lived for whatever critter was here. Watching paint dry, so hyperlapse. Mm -hmm. 